Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. I'm Rodrigo Romero. I am a real estate agent. Let's get into this video. House hacking. What is house hacking? What does it mean? I'm sure you heard it before. I'm sure you've seen the reels. What is some, give me some general information about house hacking, please. House hacking. Welcome everybody. What is house hacking? House hacking is a strategy that involves renting out portions of your primary residence to generate income that can be used as passive income and help you pay some of your mortgage. Becoming widely popular with many people of our ages, um, house hacking can save you money in the following ways. Lowering your monthly housing allowance through generating revenue by renting out portions of your property, lowering your taxable income base by acquiring extra tax write-offs, that's mortgage interest deductions. So at the end of the year, you're gonna say, you know what, I, I, I did a little bit of real estate investing and I was a landlord, I'm gonna write off a portion of you know my expenses. Another benefit of house hacking is learning how to be a landlord, transitioning into the world of real estate investing. So a lot of people do want to get into real estate investing. I've seen it early in my career. So what they could do to start off is start house hacking. What does that mean? Let's get into it right now. We're going to learn exactly what house hacking is. Here are a few methods of accomplishing your goals, my friends, of financial freedom. Or simply just paying less on your mortgage. What's better than paying less on your mortgage? I would say nothing is better than that. Utilizing the benefits of multi-residence properties. What does that mean? So let's, let's start first. What is a multi-unit residence? That's gonna be a duplex a triplex or anything larger than that so here in my computer here is a duplex so as you see here let's let's open it up a little bit what is a duplex so as you see right here i'm showing you on the screen it splits in the middle so this entire thing is one property so the left is one prop the left is one unit the right is another unit but it is still classified as one property so a duplex is two is one so a duplex is one big property split into the middle or you know split sideways it doesn't really matter where two families could live so now that we know what a duplex is we're gonna get into a triplex what is a triplex and i think there's no better example than this right here let me, let me so here's the property right here so this is one unit this is two units and this is the third you could tell it's color coded so here's the wall here's the wall let me draw some lines right there boom boom properties now you're you're probably thinking rodrigo why are you showing me multi-unit properties so one of the benefits of buying of being the primary owner of a multi-unit property is that you're able to rent it out to other families so let's say for instance if you were if you bought a triplex you live in one you rent out other two but the other two people the amount that you charge them for rent it's going to be enough to cover yours entire mortgage so you don't you're basically living for free while being the owner or it's going to pay a portion a large portion of your mortgage so you're going to be literally living on pennies to the dollar What's better than that? You're going to be saving a lot of money, you know, especially if you work from home, like if you're like a real estate agent or like um, insurance, anything like that, that you do work from home. One of the benefits of, you know, being an owner is that you're able to write off some of the space that you use as an office. It is tax deductible. That is a major benefit. Part number two, let's say that for whatever reason, you can't afford a multi-unit residence just yet. Not to worry. If you live in a single family residence, that's let's say it's a four bedroom. One of the things that you could do to house hack your property is to literally rent out the room. You don't even have to like let them use the kitchen or let them wash, use the washing machine. 
in, in addition to this, let's say if your property had a basement or an ADU. So I'm going to show you what an ADU is right here. What is a ADU? ADU is basically, you know, like a little house. It's, it's just a little back unit house. Let's say if I was the owner, let's say I bought a big house and I make an ADU, I'm living in that ADU simply because I'm going to rent out the main house. I'm going to give them way more money and I'm going to live basically for free in my ADU and check it out. The ADU, there's nothing wrong with it. If anything, I like a smaller environment. It's way more cozy. You could be a little bit more minimal and income deductible. Another thing is that you could rent out and I know you've seen the ads, they're all over Instagram. You could rent out, you know, storage spaces for your property, RV spaces, as well as, you know, mobile homes. So let's say I live in the middle of nowhere. I'm looking at you, Riverside County. I'm looking at you, Riverside County. If you live in Riverside County, do I have a house hack for you? So if you do live like in Riverside County or type of areas like that, maybe like Palmdale, you could rent out, since you do have a big lot, you could rent out some of that land to other people willing to pay. So mobile homes, RVs, or even parking spaces in your driveway. If you do live in the city, I know the city, Los Angeles could get super crowded, super hard to find parking. You can rent out your driveway or even just a parking space to someone it's a great way to make some extra cash um as well as having ben major benefits for living for free so in in total we learned that by house hacking we can really benefit as a financially free individual such as yourself in ways like never before, especially in this social media age, we can really use that to our advantage and there's no shame in that. So thank you guys for watching. It might not, I don't even know how long this video is going to be. It might suck. I'm still figuring out everything. I mean, if you stay tuned to the end, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, I really appreciate you. You know, I'm still getting everything taken care of. I wanna do more. You know, I bought this mic. I hope that the quality does come out good. I'm, you know, just, just testing out little things, but I'm really excited. I do have a 